Dear students, you have now looked at the Needleman Wunsch algorithm towards finding the global alignments. However, local alignments are very useful, as we already know, and Smith Waterman algorithm is used to find local alignments in bioinformatics. So, this was the seminal algorithm towards this alignment. Just to review the background, so if you have a DNA sequence, the exons or the coding portions in the DNA are highly conserved. And if you have two DNA sequences, then the exons in both the sequences may match very nicely. Similarly, if you have two protein sequences and the functional domains are shared between the two sequences, then there's a high chance that you get a very nice alignment score. So to compare the global alignment and local alignment, here you have two sequences, let's say A and B. So the global alignment started by comparing the full length of the two sequences. Of course, gaps could be inserted, as you can see here, to match the sequence in a better way. You can see two examples, two example sequences, and you can already see a gap in both sequences, some matches, and lots of mismatches as well. So, in case of the local alignment, what happens is that from the first sequence, we find some portions in the second sequence and align them, while some other portion from sequence A may match to another portion in sequence B. It is not necessary that this portion and this portion is in order. I mean, this could be on this side of the sequence and this portion of the sequence may be on the other side in sequence B. You can see the example here. Two sequences are aligned and the subregions are very nicely aligned here for you. So you already know that to do global alignment, there is this needleman wunsch algorithm which is a very simple algorithm and it gives you an optimal global alignment. This was reported in 1970. But for the local alignments, we're going to talk about the Smith-Waterman algorithm. And what it does is it gives us an optimal local pairwise alignment. So in the Smith-Waterman algorithm, we will modify the computation of each element in the matrix in a simple way. You already know that this is the diagonal element in the scoring matrix. So this is your diagonal and you add the score of matching i and j. So if it's a match, then it may be a positive score and if it's a mismatch, it may be a negative score. Okay, so this is your top element and this is your left element. However, as you can see here, there is a new addition to the relationship. Earlier, the relationship consisted of these three things, but now to compute Cij, you have a fourth element as well. So this is the Smith-Waterman algorithm's modification. So here, the difference between needleman wunsch and Smith-Waterman is that zero is also placed in the relationship to compute Cij. So this is the first modification and we'll see what other modifications are necessary besides this one. Okay, so here the top row and the left column are set to zero. Earlier they were set to minus i multiplied by lambda and minus j multiplied by lambda. But now they are set to zero, both of them. So, please do not forget this, that this is the second difference between the global and the local alignment. Thirdly, the alignment can end anywhere in the matrix. So, 
the trace back then begins from the highest scoring cell and ends where we encounter a zero. So in the Needleman Munch algorithm, we started from the bottom right and ended at the top left. However, in case of the Smith Waterman algorithm, we're going to start from anywhere in these two row and column and end at any position within this portion. So this is the fourth difference. So please remember this when you're computing the Smith-Waterman algorithm. So in conclusion, the local alignments can be computed by using the Smith-Waterman algorithm. There are four modifications to the needleman wunsch algorithm that are incorporated and you have a local alignment algorithm. So such a local alignment strategy can help you to elicit axons or functional domains from the DNA and proteins respectively.